Mm, busy, busy, busy today. Hello, YouTubers. This is Anubafar. This time, unlike last time, new ship and as far as I know, not leaked. We finally have a mini carrier, or I suppose more like a landing craft. A little bit like a dropship for ships and vehicles. Decently big with a similar price point. Let's take a look at the brand new Anvil Liberator. Pre-order, <laughs> right? Anvil is a tough military brand and this Liberator is the missing gap that fleshes out land warfare a little bit more. It's literally an LCAC, but moved a little bit into the future and into our universe. Weapons are pretty weak with a single man turret and a single remote turret and four missile launchers. But really, who cares about that? This isn't why you care about the Liberator. It can carry 400 SCU, which starts to show us as heft. And this isn't included in the vehicle storage space, which is nice because it seems as if they finally understand what we were saying when they released the Valkyrie. It makes sense that a ground support ship that moves troops and gear also has space to bring all of the things that they need to support an operation. Am I excited to see this? Yes, of course I am. I've been a soldier since 1991 and before that as a young man, I loved tanks and army gear. Before that as a kid, I loved G.I. Joe, aircraft carriers and F-14s, all of the toys. So as an adult, a little bit, I can see this coming out when I think about this ship. What possibilities can this ship support? And I always hope that the game will finally be able to support what my imagination's thinking about. A nice light crew of two, 16 jump seats, an armory, small ready room, lockers, and a washroom. Very well appointed, but probably bare minimum. Room for two medium fighters on top, and it seems to indicate that it can fit two Tonks or any combinations of vehicles, perhaps 64 Grey Cat buggies, whatever. I imagine that the gameplay will be fantastic and fun, but that fun comes with a price. 500 War Bond LTI, 575 credit with six months, 720 War Bond gets you a Liberator, Titan, Arrow, Hawk, Cyclone, all with lifetime, or 820. Ooh, if you want that stuff with credit but it comes with six month insurance. CCUs are available and they don't yet have a Q&A prepared for us, but it's pretty obvious what the ship does. There is a post on Spectrum that I have linked for you that lets you ask your questions for the Q&A. Thank you very much for spending your time with me. I'll go back to watching the show now. Fly safe and I'll see you in the verse.